It was a long and sometimes distracting recruiting process for Sioux Falls, South Dakota offensive lineman Matt Farniok, but Wednesday night it finally came to an end during Mike Riley, Danny Langsdorf, and Mike Cavanaugh's final in-home visit when he broke the good news to the Husker staff. Um, really, the whole process, it, it wasn't horrible. I mean, it, there were some times where it got really stressful where I just really didn't know what I wanted to do, where I wanted to go play football. But as time kind of went on, I thought about more the schools more, and I just one thing led to another, and I just kept thinking like Nebraska was the thing that just would randomly pop in my mind when I'd start just kind of daydreaming a little bit. Nebraska was the place that I just kept going back to, and then talking with my family more, it just really confirmed it. And then so when the coaches came here on Wednesday, I I was already planning on committing, so it was just a whole lot of fun and. <laughs> And as you can imagine, it was a special moment for Matt and the coaches. Um, it was it was actually pretty funny because uh, uh, Coach uh, Riley he prepared like a little speech of uh, about recruiting, and so uh, we we started off just kind of doing small talks, talking about you know just random stuff, and then finally he said, "All right, what do you say we get on to recruiting?" And so right when he said that, I said, "Yeah, well, I mean, there's not much to talk about. I want to commit to you guys and just." Coach Cav just kind of like jumped up out of his chair and <laughs> started yelling. It was really funny to see how excited that they got that that uh, I chose to go there and how excited they were for it. And especially for Matt, it felt great to finally have it all over with. Finally saying it, it was just kind of just a huge stress reliever. Like, I mean, it's, it's done now. Like, I can just really now just focus on becoming the best football player I can be and just getting better. He also made sure to let the other coaches who had been recruiting him know about his decision before it went public. I was able to call them and talk with them and just say, tell them, like, thank you guys. I mean, I, I am tremendously great, grateful for all of them spending the time and getting to know me and recruiting me. And so, I mean, I wish them nothing but the best. Because, I mean, they, they're great guys. Like, you, can't, you can't knock them for a single thing that they do. Looking back at his senior year, it probably couldn't have been any better. His Washington High School Warriors won the South Dakota Class 11 AAA state title. He was a U.S. Army All-American, and he finally committed to his dream school. Honestly, no. I think this is kind of a weird senior year because, you know, I didn't really expect half of the stuff that really happened at all. The only thing that could have been better is, is if my team would have won the Army Bowl. <laughs> yeah. That was the only tiny thing, but other than that, it was an amazing year. When talking with Matt's head coach, Chad Statham, he believes one factor really put Nebraska over the top. You know, the, the three schools that came back, I came down to it, were all very personal, great people, um, just solid people. And I think that's what made it so tough for Matt, was that, you know, they all had a lot of the same cal cal you know, characteristics for the, um, that he was looking for. You know, I just think Matt's heart was drawn towards Nebraska just because I, I think I think it might have come down to, you know, and I haven't talked, Matt hasn't necessarily said that, but I, it could have came down to Cap, you know, the relationship that they developed. And, um, and he's a special guy. I, I mean, you guys are lucky to have a guy like him. I, you know, fitting the Nebraska tradition of O-line coaches, I think that guy's he fits right perfectly right in there. While the rest of the Nebraska 2016 classes already welcome Matt with open arms. Yeah, I think it's going to be a really good group. I mean, I actually... Uh, Right after I uh, committed, uh, other O-line guys and other people that were committed there uh, threw me in their group chat, so I was able to talk with them just a little bit and get to know them more, and I think I made a really good choice. <laughs> Matt's two older brothers also went through the recruiting process at Oklahoma and Iowa State, gave their seal of approval on Matt's choice. They were, they were all super happy. I mean, they didn't really care where I went. They just wanted to make sure that I made a choice that I would be happy about and they were both just really really happy about it. And finally now that the process is all over with Matt looks forward to starting the next chapter of his career. Um, really just kind of getting ready to become a better football player just continually training and then finally getting down to uh, be at Nebraska and meet play not just meet but play with the other players as well. Reporting from Washington High School in Sioux Falls, South Dakota for HuskerOnline.com, I'm Greg Peterson.